right now we're working on ketones. Um, an unusual discovery is that there's a type of fungus that if you put its spores onto wet biomass, it will uh, decompose the biomass and actually make it into ketones. And no one uses ketones as fuels and not much is known about how they would w work. So we've been um, building uh, models for how they react and we're collaborating with uh, experimentalists who are measuring the reactions of the ketones and then we also have a collaboration with uh, engine uh, testers. So they're going to put some ketones in an engine and see how, how they really work out. A major challenge in biofuels is you have this biomass, plants that grow, and they don't look a lot like liquid fuel at all. And you figure, well how the heck are you going to make them into liquid fuel? So um, the conventional way to do it is you cook them really hot and some of it turns into liquid fuel, some turns into charcoal, some it turns into gas. You catch the liquid fuel, so that's one way. Another way to do it is you can uh, grind them up and separate the parts of the plant and feed the, uh, take the cellulose and decompose it to sugars and feed the sugars to microorganisms. And then you can ferment them into biofuels. So that's also a very popular approach. This approach was avoid all that complication. Just chop down the wood, scatter some fungus spores on it, go away and then come back and you have liquid ketones lying around on the, on the ground next to wherever the wood was and just gather them up. So that's the idea is you'd be able to greatly simplify the processing uh, procedure because you could just, the, the fungus itself will attack the wood and do the decomposition for you. You don't have to grind it up or treat it with acid or cook it at super high temperatures or anything to, to make it react. Now the disadvantage of this is the funguses don't grow nearly as fast as microorganisms and they certainly don't make reactions as fast as uh, high temperature furnaces. So, uh, so you have some other, you know, different kinds of problems with those. But uh, the interesting, every different strain of fungus actually secretes different liquids. And so you can figure out, you know, they can genetically engineer the funguses to secrete the, the liquids you want. And so we've been working with some uh, bioengineers and they've been trying to take these naturally occurring funguses and see if they can splice in a gene that synthesizes a molecule that would be good to put in a fuel. And then we've been trying to tell them which molecules would actually be good to put in a fuel. So we've been working really hard to figure out what are the special reactions of ketones. And part of it has to do with the, the ketone group can a hydrogen bond intramolecularly. So if you have a, say an OH group in your molecule and also a ketone group, the two of them will actually be tied together. And that affects the thermochemistry and it opens up a bunch of uh, unusual reactions that those molecules can do. And that, that turns out to be important at, in the pre-ignition chemistry right, right before it ignites. So we've been tracking down all the details of that and trying to figure out how does that really affect the performance of the engines? And it depends on different engines. So some engines are sensitive to that low temperature chemistry and some of them are not. So we've been trying to sort that out so we can you know, tell the engine guys which, which engines to try to use for this field.